Welcome to Haunted Horizons Ghostcast, where your hosts, Alison Oborn and Kag Allwood, will share their experiences in some of the most terrifying and haunted locations in Australia and overseas. So turn the lights off, relax, and enjoy. Three, two, one. Blast off. Yay. We're back. We are. We, we have been away for so long. We were going to come back after Christmas. We were. And we're just going to have a short break over Christmas. That didn't really happen. No, it didn't. And we got to that goodbye that we said. Yeah. Because I think our very last one was goodbye. And we obviously had people thinking that when we didn't come back. <laughs> Two-week break, we said, back after Christmas. And it is now nearly July in a yes. few days. So we're back, guys. Thank you to all those people who kept asking for us to come back, saying mm -hmm. that they were missing the podcast. They enjoyed listening to it because we didn't think anybody was. No. So we brought it back. We may look at a few changes, more interviews, I think. Yeah, I think we'll still we'll still do what we were doing, yeah. but then we'll bring in some more people as well. And too. we'll kind of buff it out with others. So if you've got a topic you would like us to talk about. Oh, yeah, that'd be cool. All right. Definitely. Definitely. Give us a comment mm -hmm. and let us know. Now, this one isn't going to be about investigating so much, is it? No. We thought we'd catch you up to speed. So this is just a generalised, if you don't like general chit chat. With Kag and Ali. This is not the one for you. It's not the one for you. All right, shoo, go on. Listen to the next episode. We'll be back to normal. But I did think we owed it to our followers who have been listening to the podcast and supporting it to let them know or let you know why we didn't come back. Yes. Because here's the creepy thing, all right? We'll talk about a little bit about the way the universe works, because mm -hmm. I think three days before Christmas, was it for me? I think it was for you, wasn't it? For three yeah. days before Christmas, my husband said to me, I need to go to hospital because he had blood in his urine. By the end of that day, we found he had bladder cancer. So... I'm in tears to CAG the next day. I was going over to Victoria to pick up my daughter and I couldn't drive all the way without pulling over and just breaking down to CAG. Yeah. CAG's there trying to console me like a best friend does. Mm -hmm. And then what happened the day after that, CAG? Um, my youngest um, has Crohn's disease, which is um, a chronic bowel condition. And he'd been having flare-ups that hadn't been been shown in blood tests which it should do so they sent him for different scans and things and they found that he'd got something in one of his kidneys mm. um, and then we found out it was a very rare cancer so keg rang me the next day <laughs> Oh, no, I rang you, actually, didn't I? I was mm -hmm. coming back and I rang you and I thought, I haven't heard from you and I rang you. And I thought it was unusual that because you, you didn't want to worry me, did you? No. And found out that within 24 hours of each other, we found out that a close loved one of ours had cancer. What is the chances of that? I know. Of besties who are like soul friends, soul mates. It's just weird, What is it? the chances of that? And then it got weirder because we went through the whole process. I had Michael at hospital for nearly a week because he had other complications and had to wait for the for the operation to remove it, which got put back a, a month, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because he had an infection in the urine, which meant that it timed it how many days apart that they had their operations, Keg? Three. Yeah. <laughs> Three days apart that they went in for their operations. Again, what is the chances of the universe of that? Two best friends going through that journey together, having the operation the same week, finding out the same week. Yeah. 
And Michael had had no symptoms no, up till none, then. None. And my son, apart from uh, his Crohn's, he's had no symptoms either. No. Um, and he ended up having to have one of his kidneys removed. Mm. So weird. I mean, hopefully everything's okay. Well, you've had, I'm going to say, you've had a kidney removed, Cag, but you haven't. No. no he's <laughs> fine now. He doesn't need he's any treatment. All right. It's all caught. It's yeah. all fine. Michael has, my husband has just been in to double check now whether there's anything there. So he finds his results to see if it's regrown or not in a couple of days. So that is kind of, it took up our world, didn't it? Well, it, it did. It's, yeah, it, the world, world just stops when you get that sort of It kind of spiralled. Yeah. Yeah. So you couldn't focus on anything else. I had no. to keep the business going. I kept YouTube going in the editing because that was a put my brain somewhere else when I'm editing mm. but to get together and do podcasts it was just off the menu but here's another weird thing I'm going to go to the woo woo stuff now Cag okay because that's what people are here for okay the woo woo stuff the woo woo okay. stuff because I the day Michael went into the hospital for the operation I went for a walk in an old place because I had a friend who passed away and they scattered his ashes up on Anstey's Hill, which is a park here, um, scrubland. So I went for a walk. I'd been up there for years. And I thought, you know what? I'll go for a walk, go and find that spot again. And as I was up there doing a live stream to, I thought also while I'm walking, I'll do a live stream to our Patreons. A wedgetail eagle flew past at a low level, just about eye level, soared past me. Now, for those who want to know about eagles and my relationship with them, go and listen to the podcast I did, Chasing, Chasing Shadows. Yeah. I think it's the second one where I talk more about the spiritual side because whenever I have a problem, like a major uh, thing, I always seem to have an eagle do something weird in front of me. So there you go, from this track... You can see the ocean, the city. How beautiful is this? The reservoir. Beautiful views. And guys, there's a wedgetail eagle just going past. There he goes. Being chased by a crow. Oh my God, now I want to cry. Um, I've had a very weird relationship with, with eagles. Um, every time I've been in a state, been upset, been worried, been... I see a wedge-tailed eagle. Now, I haven't seen an eagle for years. Um, I guess I disconnected a bit from nature once Haunted Horizon start I'm in the office all the time working and not so much out in nature. And, of course, Michael's gone in for an operation. I'm actually with my friend where his ashes were put and I haven't visited in 30 years. And the first thing I see is a wedge-tailed eagle flying past. What's the chances of that? And I used to, I've always seen that as a... A reassurance. It always seems to be sent as a reassurance. Maybe it's my dead friend setting it off. Maybe it made the crow attack it and it took off. Who knows? Can't see it now, it's gone. Vanished behind the trees and that was it. But clear enough, maybe it's a sign. Maybe it's a sign. I'd like to think so. Everything's going to be okay. So this eagle soared past. I haven't seen an eagle for years, absolutely years. I thought, well, that's all right. That's a sign. And I thought, that's reassuring that things are going to go all right. And then your son went in for his operation three days later. Yep. And I went for a walk down my driveway. And this huge grey eagle, wedge-tailed eagle, took off from next to me and soared right past me and up. 
I haven't seen an eagle on our property since the humbug scrub fires, which was nine years ago. It'll be 10 years next year. And I haven't seen it since. And I'm out walking, talking to CAG every day. Yeah, we do. We purposely go and off together. Not seen yeah. an eagle since. Uh, two eagles within three days of each other. On two significant On significant two significant. Days. So the second eagle wasn't for me, I think, because I was on the phone to CAG at the time. Because all CAG heard me say was, oh, my God, it's an eagle. But I, think... I thought you'd fallen again. <laughs> you were hoping. <laughs> <laughs> no such luck. I think that one was for you, Keg. Mm. Well, everything went well, so hopefully it was. Yeah, so. I think it was a sign for us both that, hey, this had to happen. It happened at the same time so we could support each other. Yeah. And now things move on. Mm-hmm. And then we come back to the podcast. So there you go. Weird mm. things to start the year with. So what have we been doing? Because we didn't know. It was touch and go whether we would be able to travel anywhere. Yes, that was um, that was a really hard thing, wasn't it? Because you, you know, were, are they going to be okay? Did we need? Because obviously, family comes first. Yes. Um, but it worked out that everybody was fine. Everything was done and dusted. Cause we'd already booked America, hadn't we? Yeah, we had. And then suddenly that hit. We did it before Christmas. <laughs> we'd already booked it, and we honestly didn't think we were going to get. But everything was done and dusted. Both were fine, just in time for us to go to America. Now, we did the big Wild West trip, didn't we? We did. We've got cowboy hats to prove it. We have. We should have put them on, Kelly. I know. There. That's I know. bad thinking. But we did 11 We 11 did locations. 11 investigations in 13 nights. I know. And what did you think? Okay, so we've, we've always gone to America. But yeah. we've never done the Wild West, like Arizona, because we went from San Francisco to Nevada, Arizona, through Arizona, and we kind of made our way up to Montana, Yeah, turned around, and Kagame came back through Utah Yeah, and back through the desert and what have you. Now, I'd never, ever been in that part of America before. No. We'd always done the Midwest. Mm-hmm. And this was so, so very different, wasn't it? It was. It was stunning. Absolutely. Wasn't it? Absolutely stunning. And the the landscape changed constantly. Yeah. You know, you'd go from there's nothing much around to a forest of cacti, to a real forest, to mountains, you'd... to... Nothing much, and yeah, it was. You like, didn't know what you're going to find around the corner. No, you go around another bend, and you're just in a totally different landscape. It was weird. The cactus, oh my goodness! We, just what you expect. We wasn't it? actually saw the cactuses you see in all those is western movies. Is it cactuses movies. or is it cacti? Cacti, sorry. Cacti. Thank you for the correction, there, Kate. No problem. <laughs> um, it's just like you see in all those western movies. Yeah, it is, isn't it? That was the West. That was everything I pictured America to be. The mountains and the cacti yeah. were just amazing. You expected to see cowboys and... And did we go through Tonto's... Tonto's Pass. Pass. Ton Tonto? Yeah, it is Tonto, Tonto isn't it? Tonto, yeah. With... On to Toronto, Pronto, Tonto. Tonto. Yeah. The Lone Ranger. Yes, we did. Yeah. yeah. It was... Amazing. The only issue was the altitude. Yeah, that might have been a little... I think most of the time we were above six to 7,000 feet up. <laughs> and when you live in Adelaide, which is like three foot above sea level, yes. um, it's very difficult. Oh. Don't expect much singing in our videos. We couldn't... We couldn't even talk. <laughs> All we could do and you couldn't talk and walk at the same time no. it's one or the other <laughs> take your choice <laughs> so it was just stunning now we did as i said 11 locations and who did we do it with the boys the boys not the boys not the but boys paranormal, paranormal quest, quest. Yeah. so we met up with dave and ryan to do this tour through and um I think what we'll do, and we're not going to tell you all of it because I think what we'll do is we'll get them onto a podcast. Yeah, I think we need to to talk about it. And then we that. can chat 
we can chat about it in depth. But yeah. we did have a lot of fun. Oh, we did. We always do when with those guys. So that's, that's all yeah. Good, isn't so it? three of them, three of the episodes, you definitely want to watch because you'll see a whole new side of Ryan. Oh, from Paranormal Quest. He lost yes. his calling. He should have been a comedian. He should have been an actor. His ad libbing, his quickness, his humour. And to stay in character. He, he, yeah, we put him in character because we'll tell them this a little bit because we did do the Dumas brothel. Yeah, we did. We did. And on the Dumas, Dumas, Dumas brothel, we decided to role play. So Cag was the prostitute. Oh, obviously. <laughs> I was the madam making lots of money from the customers. And Ryan played the part of Rooting Tootin Ryan. Yep. Who was the cowboy. I and have never laughed I, so I, much. I don't know how he kept a straight face because I was wetting myself with yep. laughter. All right, sir, if you want to come this way, we have the most delightful lady. She is the best. <laughs> so funny. You got anywhere I can stretch? I've been riding that Mustang for 40 miles to get out of here. It's got a big rib cage. <laughs> Keeps the keeps the pelvis a little bit too wide. <laughs> Gotta stretch it out afterwards. <laughs> but don't 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 you don't you forget that I am a bona fide cowboy and I'm always ready for a lady. <laughs> no matter how wide my hips are. I saw a medicine man out in the desert and he told me that I per permanently fractured my pelvis and hip socket. But I'm ready. So where is she? Where's this beautiful lady that I've been hearing so much about? So look forward to that one, guys. That'll be up on YouTube soon. We also, Misty Children got back together, didn't they? Yes, Misty Children did a great performance on the Queen Mary. Who can say that they've sung Bohemian Rhapsody on the Queen Mary? And we, we, just, we, we rocked it. We rocked we? it. In fact, I'll put a little snippet of it here just to show. Yeah. People got up and danced to count. Bohemian exactly. Rhapsody. Exactly. And the guy, sorry, I can't remember your name, the guy that actually oh, filmed it yes. for us, you are a legend. You are a star. We got what a lovely to couple they it. were. They were. They were. So that's kind of the American trip. Um, I'm still, we've got the Goldfields one done. Yeah. So that one's already up. And I can actually say that the curse continued, didn't it, Kate? <laughs> Our first venue and the curse was real. We had 11 venues. All right. And we were down in the mine of the gold fields. It is up on YouTube. Go and watch it. And one of our cameras mysteriously stopped working. Yeah. And wouldn't come back to life. No. So I thought, well, we've still got one. Yeah. And 20 minutes later, the other one stopped working. Yeah. And wouldn't come back to life either. No. Two expensive cameras in 20 minutes broke down yep. with the screen of... Death. The black screen of death, as the camera shop described, described it. Described it. Yeah. You got no coming back from those. So we had to bin them. And we're in the middle of the desert, aren't we, Kev? Yeah, it's not a great place to shop for cameras, no, is it? No, there's not an awful you can lot. Buy, I mean, you can buy, you know, like your cowboy hats. And, and, yeah. and oh, they did great popcorn in that shop. Oh, and and they did. Fudge. Fudge. Uh, fudge. Fudge. Um. And that sort of, and and lovely Indian, not, um, you know the uh, the native yeah. Indian jewellery, fantastic, I got lots of, yeah. but no cameras. No. So fortunately, the boys lent me two cameras to use, and another fortunately, we had a house for five days at one point. So I went on to Amazon and I had to buy because we couldn't find camera shops anywhere I can get two cameras in. But yeah, it was hard work. It was hard work. Beautiful. Loved the trip. I had so, so many laughs. Yeah. But uh, we tried to get arrested at Area 51. We did. Well, we, we might have been arrested at Area 51, but this one here, as we're driving down, going, 
Because we you, we know that they can hear you. They are listening to They're you. They're listening to you so driving down this that one road. here is going, it's okay. We're just two little old ladies. We're not going to cause any problem. We're not going, shut up. <laughs> Even when we took a selfie by yeah. the do not take photo sign. Yeah, and the white we? ute was watching us from just off the hill there. Yeah, Here's yeah. us doing the selfie. <laughs> you can see all the, the glints of the windscreens in the sun yeah. with the cars that are watching. As you're driving along. <laughs> So, no, that spoiled it. No, I was dude. like, shush, yeah. Sorry, shush. I actually do regret having said that. Yeah, no, no I regret you saying that as there well. There you go. <laughs> we still got our selfie, though. Um, what else have we done? Oh, we went to Victoria. Oh, before we went to Victoria? Yeah, before we, we actually, away. just before we went, in fact, it was only a few, <laughs> a few days before we went away, didn't we? We actually went to Victoria because we were invited to investigate somewhere that's never been investigated before. By YouTubers. By YouTubers. On tours, because they've just started them. Yeah. But And that was the Melbourne Quarantine Station. Yeah, which was cool, wasn't it? Yeah, so we were the first. Well, we were the first with Amy's Crypt. So we went down with them on mm-hmm. a little journey and filmed down there. It was really, I mean, it was interesting. I, I think one bit was interesting. It's up, by the way, on YouTube as well. I think the it's uh, it's a massive, massive place, um, and I found it fascinating. Yeah, it, it was, was it was very different. Yes, and the history was really fascinating. Mm. I think for that one, for us, it was the seer, believe it or not, coming out with that because there is supposed to be a ghost of a white lady there. Yeah, and they tracked her down to being a real person. Her grave is in the cemetery. And she was um, in love with the World War One soldier. And- we have a ghost that's wandering around here. Yeah. Seen wandering around here. Uh, there's always a lady in white, but this one's been seen by customers. And I found, first found this on the internet, people regarding seeing this. It's uh, regarded as called the young yet withered woman in white is what we call her. Okay. <laughs> and, yeah, she's young and she's withered. And going through the books, we found the story. There was a woman called Catherine Kindlin who was taken off the boat. She was a wife of a soldier. She'd just come from Scotland. Uh, the boat that they'd be coming back on was the HMAS Ceramic. And it was a particularly unlucky boat because it came back not only with Spanish influenza, but also smallpox. And Catherine got both at the same time. And by the time they brought her off the boat here, she was 32 kilograms and died that day. Uh, and they cremated her and they left the ashes there but the husband was so deeply affected by it he went into a depressive mm-hmm. state and lost communication with the quarantine station and her cremated remains sit at the back of a cupboard gathering dust and forgotten for 80 years what? and eventually 80 years later the Nepean Historic Society buried her down at the official cemetery down the road but 80 years is a long time and wow. we Be get in the cupboard. A, a lot of people seeing a young yet withered woman wandering around here and she certainly fits that description yeah wow interestingly we were to get this image out of ghost tube seer later in the evening i can't see yeah so it's it's a a man and a woman is that a man in uniform with a nurse no, it's not a uniform. Well, it's got a flat... khaki green, like a uniform. Well, it could be. Oh, yeah, it could be. It's like he's on one knee. But she looks like she's a lady in white. In white. So I think for me it was the seer. Mm. And also when Prime Minister came through, when Amy was doing the Estes. Right. Because one of our we, we mislaid one of our Prime Ministers, <laughs> didn't we? Did we? Oh, yes, we did. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> we did mislay. We did. It's, it's very, yeah, it's, it's not good, is it, when you mislay a prime minister? So Harold Holt, we lost. Because <laughs> he went out swimming into the ocean and was never seen again. And it's a big search, but he was never found. And that's just off the beach where the... Melbourne quarantine station is. Mm. And then we started to get all this stuff coming through about Prime Minister. So, which was interesting. Yeah. Curious. What else have we done? We have to, we have to thank Nate for that. We that, do. We have to 
thank Nate from Erie Tours. He also runs the tours at Arradale. So he was very lucky and he managed to get Melbourne Quarantine Station to opened up for everybody. Now, have we done anything else since? Well, we've not really had time because dealing with cancer, going to Melbourne and then going over to America, America. For and we only weeks. came back four weeks ago. Oh, no, we have had something since. What? We had a guy come and visit, didn't we? Oh, goodness. Oh, you just, you know, I blanked that completely out of my head. I try to, but it's just hard. I just, and if the audio, by the way, has suddenly got weird noise in the background, it's because... They've heard us mention this person and it's decided the heavens have opened. <laughs> the storm that's coming. Um, it's quarter to three in the afternoon. It's black. It's just bucketing down outside. Yeah, but we had a guest come for three days. Oh, that was a long, three long days. Three it? whole days. What was his name? I can't remember. Oh, it was a weird one, wasn't it? Well, he um, was weird. He had some sort of mask yeah, on the whole time. Yeah, he did. What yeah. was he? Um, the upside oh, down guy? No, no. The backwards guy? No. No, the back to front eye guy? No. no. Oh, it's got eye in it. It has. Um, something to do with the way he was looking. Oh, he was always got that look on his face, didn't he? To yeah. the to the side, side, the That's side, it. the side eye guy. guy. Yeah, that debunker. Yes. So we hosted a debunker for three days. We did. Well, you did. Mm. I caught COVID. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was. You were off. lucky. I was. I got the tail end of it, but I didn't get to see him for one of the days. I tested clear the day after, but. But, oh. uh, yeah, we, we offered, we offered, you know, we had to, didn't we, Kate? Well, you know, you try and be nice to these people. You do. You, you try know, and, and do the best wants, for them. And he wants to do more investigating. Yeah. So, so we thought we'd, we'd open up our venues We'll open for up him. three venues for yeah. him. And maybe we'll change his mind on ghosts. Yeah. I play him a, you try to play him an EVP and what's he do, Kate? Oh, I can't hear me. I can't hear me. Mm. So we gave up. Love your side eye guy. <laughs> and we say this because at the end of the day, by the time I put this up, then our episode will be on YouTube. Go and have a look at it. We're also going to do our next podcast episode. Will be an interview with the side eye guy. And I know we bag him and... I, and he bags us. And he bags us. I am going to say... He is the funniest, nicest. We did have a chemistry with him. No, nobody yeah, wants to talk tonight. I blame this one in the middle. I, I would blame me too. Yeah. yeah. I often get the blame. Unfortunately, so far. <laughs> <laughs> you just want to pat him on the head and go, good boy. Good boy. It's a good boy. Well done. Good boy. <laughs> I feel belittled. <laughs> you want to throw a stick for him, you don't do, you? Yeah. Good boy. <laughs> they can bring, maybe we, if we did the ball, he'd bring the ball back to us. It's maybe you want to. Hit it off from... Wow. Wow. I can't do anything about that sound, guys. You see, no, he mentioned about the side-eye guy, the worse the weather gets. Says it all. It's like our tears, wasn't it, Kate? It was. This is how we were. Black and teary. We were. <laughs> Just like our souls by the time he left. Is it easy? Yeah. There we go. So definitely um, go check him out. We we love him to death. And don't tell him, though. Oh, God, Because no, he doesn't listen to the podcast. No. So don't tell him about this. He'll probably not even watch this when I put the video version up as no, well. So. No, no, don't, don't tell him no. that we like him because otherwise... That... Don't tell him we, we actually missed him when he went. I know, Jesus. I know. With his little Mickey Mouse suitcase. Or well, the big one. <laughs> it was funny though, it was wasn't funny. it? It was funny. gave him <laughs> Kat gave him a suitcase because he had a few extra things to take back. So she picked her favourite. Yeah. Mickey Mouse. Big yellow one with lots of Mickey Mouse on. And then I and then I dropped him in the city away from his hotel. <laughs> Couldn't get over to it with the car, so he had to trail. This big guy had to trail his Mickey Mouse suitcase through the city. Yeah. It was quite funny watching, really. He was. Sorry, Seg. 
<laughs> you should have videoed that. Yeah, I that should have done that. I should have done that. Yeah, so. no. <clears throat> oh, well. so that will be our next next one. We thought we'll get this one out first. This is just a short one to say we're back. We're back. We're back and we're sorry. But well, we're until back we can't, and let, until something else happens. Oh, well, it's 2024. Yeah. I mean, it's been, it's been a crap year so far. So, I mean, <laughs> you, you know, we're not holding out much we, we may be a bit more erratic about putting episodes up. So I do apologise if we miss out on weeks. We'll do them when we can. So I've actually had a bereavement as well. My brother passed away. Actually, the day Seg left. <laughs> yes. I got home to find a little message. So mm. I've been dealing with that because unfortunately I live in the Philippines, which is harder to deal with. So, And I've still got to go back to England and spend time with family and do a celebration of life, etc. And then you're coming over. Yeah. So, so we're going to do what we can. The podcast will take a back seat most of the time unless we have time to do one. So we do apologise. YouTube, we will be keeping going. So go and follow our YouTube channel. It's where all the good stuff go, 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 go. where all the good stuff goes. Keg when I can get my words out. Well, I said that was easy for you to say. Don't it wasn't. It? No, it so wasn't. And uh, we'll also obviously we have to keep the business going with the tours. So there are main priorities. The podcast we'll do when we can. Yeah. All right, we're going to go, guys. We're going to leave you to it. We don't want to wrap it on too long, so we're going to leave you to it. We will be back next week, and we will be back next week because we have the SEG podcast in the bag already. So next week's is guaranteed. It is. All right, take care, and thank you, guys. Don't forget we have, which I've just said, YouTube, Facebook, what else, all the other social media. Give us a like. Give us whatever you can, wherever you can. It helps. It does. Helps us to make more podcasts for you. We feel loved. <laughs> All right. Catch you later, guys. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Bye. And thank you for your patience. Please remember to share, like and subscribe to this podcast. The extended video version of these episodes are available for members of Spotify and Patreon. You can also follow us on Facebook Instagram and see the full investigation from these episodes on our YouTube channel. Details are in the About section of this podcast. Thank you from Cag and Ali for listening. <laughs>